hello hello guys and welcome to my channel again this is karen thank you so much for always coming back to my channel to watch me to uh support my channel i really appreciate guys kindly give the video a like and ensure you're subscribed and uh if you uh, are a returning subscriber i really appreciate thank you thank you for always supporting me and so guys uh today i want to talk about uh ding wango Dimwango finally went back to Jamaica after a visit to Kenya. She visited Kenya. She okay. She had uh, she had gone to Jamaica for quite some a while, which was about two months, I guess. Not really sure. And then she decided to come back to Kenya first because she really wanted to extend her stay in Jamaica, and she's really enjoying it she's really having fun in jamaica we all see it through the videos that she puts out the support from jamaicans the love you know the sub the everything you know they always show up for this girl and that is actually what keeps her uh, what keeps her uh, in jamaica and what always takes her back to jamaica it's the love and the culture and everything around her in Jamaica. So she finally went back to Jamaica after visiting um, Europe. And uh, she was finally in Monaco and she landed in Jamaica. So people have been criticizing her on the streets of YouTube. Most of the people, they don't actually like what she does. They don't support her, you know, especially these Kenyans and she actually decided to do a video to address all these especially to address the relationship uh, she has with this one guy who has been supportive to her channel who has been uh, who has been one of the best best support for her in Jamaica this guy has been taking her around Jamaica he has been helping her with the touring jamaica all the time especially with uh, his car and that is kino life in jamaica so dimwango posted on a on a community uh like i think she was replying to someone who asked her about the relationship she has with the uh, kino life in jamaica and she said she doesn't have any relationship with kino and uh it's just it's just a, a collaboration it's just about business it's just about uh, the friendship the things that they do together but it's not about having like a, a romantic relationship that is not what they are having and she even did a video to back it up she did a video to to inform all these people who have been saying lies that she's actually in a, in a relationship she did a video to tell them out that uh, she is not in any relationship with Kino and Kino actually has a family. And I also did a video long time ago telling you guys that Kino has a wife and that is and that uh, what they are having with Tim Wango is just a business. It's just uh, YouTubers supporting themselves. That's why Dimwango, you always see Dimwango campaigning for Kino to get to 100k view subscribers. And it was fast. She, she wanted Kino to get to 50k subscribers and that is what he got. And then we are now headed to 100k subscribers. That is Dimwango supporting this guy with his channel. And there is nothing nothing like a relationship especially from these reactors these people pick on on uh, who love picking on uh dim wango especially the likes of carol and uh the other react who can't actually they can't take it that uh dim wango is doing much much better than what they have done in their old age even after she does she did the video after she did the video uh, explaining her relationship with Kim, there are these other people still came out, the likes of Carol, the likes of Nairobi teacher, 
who are still questioning their relationship after she came out and addressed it so so well you know without any 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 corner cornering i saw nairobi teacher saying that uh dimwango does not love uh does not like interacting with the youtubers especially the young youtubers those who have not uh, outgrown her those uh, small small youtubers that she doesn't like interacting with those type of youtubers and i was like uh, look at who is talking look at who is uh, yapping this guy is one of the biggest traitor the reason Demango does not support most of these young YouTubers, it's because they will come back backstabbing you. They will come back saying shit about you. That is the reason she keeps off these young, young YouTubers. The ones who are so hungry about getting uh, to the top so, so fast without working for it. D. Mwango has been betrayed by some of the YouTubers she did collaboration with. And that is actually the reason she never entertains these uh, young YouTubers. The, okay, let's take an example of Nairobi teacher himself. What he did to, to Marwa and the family. This Nairobi teacher went to Marwa's place asking for help. And uh, he said that he quit his job as a teacher. And he has a small kid. He needs help with the, with uh, feeding the kids, you know. He needs something to feed the kids with. That's why he came to ask for support uh, in his YouTube channel. That he needs something to support uh, the family, the wife and the kids. And afterwards, this guy turned out to be the worst, worst ever encounter for Marwa and the and even the old village because it was the reason my popo and my yugno parted ways but I'm happy they are now back together look at who is laughing now my yugno and my popo are walking together right now and my popo regrets the whole thing because it was innocent he just got this guy from Nairobi who wanted to take over uh, this uh, Mapopo and the other reactors, the other uh, YouTubers, with this greed, with this uh, greed to get at the top so, so fast. So this is one of the best example that most of these people you collaborate with, most of these people you hold their hands, uh, to get somewhere, they will come back and talk shit about you. They will come back and rubbish you because people would think that they know more about you because they once met you and they once spent a night or nights in your place. They once interacted with some of your family members. So they think they have that, uh, that, uh, information the information the negative information that people would want to hear from and most of them their channels go dying and what they come back with is reaction negative reaction because they know people would want to hear the negative part of these big stars and that is what they will actually deliver so this is one of the biggest reason why D. Mwango does not support these YouTubers. This is the big reason why she doesn't offer free collaboration. She always says that you need to pay for it. You need to pay for a collab. So that when you go out there and bluff lies about her, at least she gained something, you know. She got something in return. Other than just giving, giving, giving and that person will not be satisfied. They will still come and milk you. They will still come and take from you. They will still come and try to rubbish you. They will still try to drag you to, you know, to where they are. Because they don't like, uh, they don't like people who are actually making it. 
they don't like seeing people making it more than them. I even saw another big uh, YouTuber. She goes out there and starts talking about uh, Dim Wango. And I'm happy that Dim Wango did not actually reply to that. She went out there and uh, told a lot of things that makes her look like someone who is so petty and uh, untrusted. You know, you can't trust them. She went there to just uh, make some uh, small things to clarify things that are not actually there. Because she has been in contact with uh, Dim Wango, she feels like she can tell everything about Dim Wango. Especially the negative parts. That is what she focused on. The countries she has, uh, she has ever been to. Why would it be a problem to her? On this uh, YouTube, it's about your hard work. It's about the energy you put. It's not about what you come and talk about the other person. The negative side that you want to prove to, to, the, to, to their subscribers. It's not about that. And I was so embarrassed on behalf of African Tigress. I was so embarrassed because what she was doing there, it was so childish. It was so childish for her. It was not actually a good thing. And even the uh, our subscribers did not like it. They did not support that. They they told her that uh, she needs to stop dragging Dim Wango because Dim Wango is focused on doing her stuff. And actually, one funny thing is that uh, she keeps following Dim Wango. And that is actually the truth. I saw Nairobi uh, justify, trying to clarify and... Uh, make like uh, this look like it wasn't actually a uh, that african tigress is always following dim wango wherever she goes you all remember dim wango was in jamaica all of a sudden the the girl is in jamaica too she followed her immediately and uh when they were all in kenya dim wango was in europe she was the first one to get to europe all of a sudden, she's there. And what are you going to call that? Isn't it, uh, isn't it uh, like competition? Some petty competition from this uh, YouTuber. So what people need actually to do is uh, you need to uh, watch the person you support. Or if you support all of them, don't put a fight between them as as a subscriber don't put a fight between them i saw i saw someone commenting uh, like they don't like uh dim wango's laughter they are so irritated with it that means you hate her why would it irritate you if you don't have this negative energy towards her and why are you still going to watch her anyways it's a big support Watching her, you're giving her the watch hours. You're giving her, you know, maybe you're even subscribed because you don't want to miss her videos. Just that you are irritated with her laughter. It means you don't like her videos. It means you don't like her. That is her personality. If you have ever watched uh, Dim Wango's videos, most of them, that is her personality. And you can't expect her to change for some uh, one or two haters. That won't happen. So guys, that was it. At least you people know that Tingo. Know the Tingo. You know it now. Dim Wango is not in a relationship with Kino Life in Jamaica. Guys, uh, see you in my next video. And kindly give the video a like. Ensure you are subscribed. And if you watch up to this moment... I really uh, love you guys. I really love you so much.